Hello, here we are for week six of the Art Journal Challenge. Now I've shuffled these cards a lot already, so I could just cut them. Let's deal out, deal out three cards. Ooh, butterfingers today. Oh, I loved this one with the um, Matisse leaves. Oh, now I had this one on the first week, I think, Fortune. I can't remember if I did. No, I might be making this up in my head. Oh, and the present is infinite. The present is infinite because if you think about it, the present is now. A minute later, you're in the present. The present is now. So it goes on and on and on. That's why I like that. I use that in my time art journal, um, altered book, round robin. If any of you saw that, here we go. Ah, right, so what am I going to make from these? I love the hand. I really love the hand. I also love the clock. I love the words, the present is infinite. I've got a nice stencil for that leaf, so I might be using that. So, hmm, yes, I'm going to go and get my art journal. I should be back. I've got my usual art journal out. I'm going to work in this very messy page, which I used to use up some paints, but I accidentally closed it and then it all stuck together. But that's okay, because I'm going to be working on top of it. The colors I'm going to go for are, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go for the blue and the peach. I think they'll be nice. Oh, with a bit of black. And I've got this little hand I cut out quite a while ago now. I found it just yesterday, I think. Um, it's not a proper anatomically correct hand at all, but I love the shape of it. So I'm going to use that somehow. Um, maybe not that one. I may cut out from that. And I found my Matisse stencil. It's a bit big. It's larger than the ones I sell now. The ones I sell now are smaller to fit on an art journal page, but I could perhaps do that if I think I've done that before. I think I could use it like that. Yes, I shall figure something out. Right, let's get going, shall we? I think what I'm going to do, we need a little bit of repair. So first of all, I'm going to be gluing some tape down to repair that and then just swing all over the page again, I think best thing to do. Oh, let's put some proper glue down as well. Let's put some ah oh, glue stick down as well. Oh gosh I can't get I can't let go of it now. That's it. I'm stuck with that forever. So glue stick and some of this glue from the tape between the two which should be firmly in place. Right, I hope you're um, taking part with me. Oh this is nearly at the end it gets frothing out. I hope you're taking part with the art journal prompts must say I keep forgetting to have a look in the hashtag because most people tend to let me know. <laughs> so I'm getting lazy now, I'm getting spoiled, people are letting me know. There we go, that should cover that. And I'm going to get some paint on. As I say, the blues and the peaches are going to be the main features in this. Oh, there's some water, there it is. Right, I'm going to speed you up through the painting bit.
Okay, so here we are. I've added the hand. I redid it slightly. I made it slightly bigger and I did it in black because I th felt it went with black. So I wanted to include some of the black colour scheme here. I used the Present is Infinite along the hand. I got the colour scheme I wanted, which is the blue and the cream. And I got the Matisse motif in. I did have a smaller stencil of it. I end up with lots of the little stencils when I try them out. And that's it, I love it. I've used some of my till roll, which gives lots of extra texture. That's great. I love that. I enjoyed working on that. Well, do let me know if you have a go yourself. Uh, do hashtag Keris Prompts. Uh, again, if I don't see it, give me a nudge and I will find it somehow. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.